my name is Raven. Uh, welcome to my light shafts tutorial. Um, the May UDK build just came out not too long ago, and I got to play around with light shafts and decided to cover it a bit more in depth. Um, there are obviously there are two requirements for light shafts. One, you need a dominant directional light, and you need a sky dome. So the first thing we're going to place is our sky dome. So go to view, browser windows, content browser, type in sky in the search bar. I already have it typed in. And you could select any of the three sky domes. And then I'm just going to click and drag over. And as you can see, I have my nice beautiful sky dome. Okay, the next requirement is we need a dominant light. So right click anywhere in your scene. Add actor, all templates, add light, dominant directional light, and hit OK. All right. So now that our dominant light is in, um, we need some objects to actually be able to see the god rays. So I'm going to go back to the content browser and type in tree. Scroll down. Let's see here. This looks like a good tree. Have to. You can use a speed tree or a static mesh. I'm going to use a static mesh here. All right. I'm going to actually scale that up a bit using the uniform scale tool. All right. <clears throat> uh, it doesn't matter what objects you use. I'm just going to use a tree because it looks pretty nice with the trees. All right. I'm going to hold Alt and make a few of these. All right. Now, if you uh, come up here, I'll raise this up, and you see Enable Game View and hit the G. As you notice, we still don't have God Rays, so we have to go turn it on in the dominant light, so select our light. And I already have light shafts um, in the actor properties. So you go to light, light component, light shafts, and then you check it. <clears throat> and you can kind of probably sort of see them right now because they're at an odd angle. Um, but instead of uh, going down and getting in some odd direction, we will just rotate our light. I'm going to get out of game view for a second and take the light. All right, go back to G. Hmm, still not enough rotation. All right, there you go. There's our beautiful god rays. Very pretty. All right, so now let's uh, cover some things and what all this uh, all does in the uh, Light Chefs tab. All right, so if you notice, we have several options here: Bloom Scale, Bloom Screen Blending, Bloom Threshold, Bloom Tint. Uh, bloom Tint is fairly obvious. Uh, whatever color this is is the color of your Light Chefs. You can make some rather interesting colors. No, I'm actually going to scale these up more. There we go. Alright. So now let's go back and select our light again. Alright. And then obviously, of course, we have our checkbox that enables or disables light shafts. We have our radial blur percent. If you put this down to 15, our light shafts get smaller. Go back to 100. We have our occlusion mask and our occlusion depth range. Um, it's not really too much uh, I can cover. Uh, you can just highlight over and it'll give you a nice um, example of what it is. Uh, the UDK build 
the new May UDK build just came out and I decided to make a quick little tutorial on uh, how to set up uh, 